Oh, fun. This should be a good matchup. Yeah, okay, let's let's hop in. We have to wait on this match anyway, don't we? Yeah, we do. This is this is blocking. So yeah, whoever wins this fights Steel Blue, whoever wins that fights Gulvrog, and whoever wins that fights Drone. And if they win, they fight Drone again. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it looks like so we can see in the main match itself that Oops. Felthos is not able to get far ahead. Snuggle Base as is playing a much more insular style, but Snuggle Base also both players actually have lost the ability to take the corners. So those neon not familiar, this map you start in the center, but you can take the sides, and the sides are very lucrative, particularly in the corners. All the corners, as you can see, are the most lucrative areas. But oftentimes, because of that, players will send units just on patrol around the edge of the map in order to prevent you from getting them. Both players were doing that, but Failthos and Snuggle uh, both Failthos and Snugglebase have managed to get away from that. They've managed to break out of that and are taking their edges. So we also have a cloaky mirror on this map, which is fairly common. I mean, despite the fact that spiders and jump bots deal with these cliffs no problem, everyone goes with the glaives. Yes, exactly. The speed. You just need the mobility. It's such an open map. There's so many metal extractors. You have so much ground to cover. Yeah. Also, I should point out that Failthos plays this map all the time. Most of it's mm. flip tip, I think. But yeah, Failthos plays this map all of the time. Interesting. So they know this map. I didn't know that. Well, it definitely suits him, especially with his uh, sort of defensive-oriented style. Yeah, well, Failthouse is kind of a flexible style, I've always found. Yeah, I, I, yeah, really I would agree with that. It's, uh, I guess calling it a defensive style isn't really fair. It's He pretty aggressively pushes with it, and then he is, of course, still raiding. Um, so maybe that was a mischaracterization, but mm -hmm. at any rate, uh, it's a good map for defenders, is what I meant to say. Yes. Yeah, especially if they're on the hills, but in general, yeah, it's good. It's just yeah. The only character the only player I can think of who's really defensive is Clone. Mm hmm And even then Clone does play some aggressive play. They're just really careful about how they use their units. Right. Well you have to be. You have to be aggressive in some extent. Yeah, so Snuggle Base with a weaker raid than Felthos, but Felthos not confident they can rush in here. See, but, but they the Snow Base. He has some glaives here in his base to help defend. I mean, what does is, what is Thailtots really have? He has one defender and now just a couple of glaives. Okay, just in That's time. That's enough. But yeah, they were, it was uh, completely undefended for a moment there. Although the back is going to be taken. This Lotus will take out about half of the glaive army and then that's it. And Snuggle Base pulling Felthos back, forcing Felthos to pull back to defend. No flank though, nothing to actually take the advantage of this new oh, position. Oh, that's too bad. Well, um, Snuggle Base himself, he's sort of pinned down because Felthos has his own army just True. right here on his doorstep. Yeah, so Snuggle Bay's not going to be able to do any damage. Snuggle Bay should retreat, and they're doing exactly mm -hmm. that. Good call. Losing a glaive, but falling back. Losing two yeah. glaives. Well, he's on the downhill here, so that whole retreat was still not a uh, not a great position for him to be in either. No, now, now, it's, on the now it's good. Now Failthos needs to stop chasing. Like, yeah. Failthos is losing units. Still worth it for Failthos, but yeah, they didn't need to chase that long. So it looks like we'll see a, a very positional game here. Uh, lots of sort of body blocking, like you mentioned, with these raider groups. Mm hmm. Although it's harder to do with glaives than it is with slashers. Sure. Because of speed and size differences. But yeah, definitely but, we're going to see that. Yeah, it still definitely applies. Um, oh boy. Although Felthos running around the back. And we're going to see a similar situation, but I think Felthos, there shouldn't be here too. They're, they're running away as well. They're wisely mm -hmm. getting out of there. Hmm. I don't think he had to. I think he could have uh, arced up because Snuggle Base's glaives are all clubbed up like this. That's true, but the Lotus. If it weren't for the Lotus, yeah. I'd agree with you. Because of the Lotus, That's a good point. no. That's a good point. But at the same time, Snuggle Base, like, they have their main base almost completely open, except for the Glaive Army. They have the backside completely open, apart from a couple Lotuses, which would be a problem, but for, what was that, a dozen Glaives? Nine Glaives. Yeah, Look at this glaives, ridiculously ridiculously early gunship switch. I guess it's not ridiculous, but uh, it is very early. I wouldn't call Gosh. it ridiculous. That's going to be... That could actually decide the game. We're at a kind of stalemate situation right now. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. There's enough glaives to deal with it? Uh, yeah, exactly, and they're fast enough. These rapiers, I mean, they have the nice alpha, but they're not going to be able to whittle down the glaives very well, are they? They one-shot glaives. You're right, but just one glaive at a time. Yeah, so it's four glaives every volley. Although with this 
this army over the west will basically be taken down in two volleys. That's a good point. Ooh, nice flanking army to the south here, but Snuggle Base is in a good position to intercept. Yeah, so the south army is taken care of by Snuggle Base's glaives, and the north army doesn't even matter. The rapiers look like they're going straight for the throat. Trying to take yeah. out Veltas's mexes, trying to take out Veltas's main army. While well, at the same right time, Veltas going for the flank. Oh, not even going for the flank. They're being really cautious. Not sure they realize what's coming to them. Snuggle base, their commander is moving back. This would actually not be a bad position. Feldos is at an economic ah. advantage, so taking out the commander is a huge blow, but that does not happen, and that could close. have happened. Yes, Econ comp absolutely. against half a dozen glaives, the glaives win. Feldos had a great position there. He was he was uh, ahead of Snuggle base's glaives. He could have chased down that commander, but um, unfortunately, just not enough APM. Yeah, it looks like. Maybe they're worried about the losses. I think they're worried about the losses, but. Yeah. Yeah, they would have died anyway. Driven, driven away by just one uh, razor. See, that's why I say I'm not sure about this rapier switch because it's pretty easy to defend against. You know, I mean, obviously it's one shotting all of this stuff. Which looks yeah, very that's the thing. It's it's one shotting all this stuff, and in terms of mobile defense, there isn't much. And yeah, there's the razor, but that's it. There's there's one razor. Oh, sorry, there's two actually. Where's but a second, second razor would uh, at least stop these guys from hanging out over the base. I'm not sure that they could whittle it down in time, especially with the caretakers here to repair the razor. Yeah, well, it just seems like it's. Go the ahead. main base, no. The main base, no. But all this periphery, the geo plant, all these metal extractors, that's a huge blow. That'll give a snuggle base the economic advantage. The glaives can take care of the main base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like they will be doing uh, just that. Short yeah, order. pretty well. And the rapier is moving in for extra support. That's. I think this might be snuggle base. Yeah, I think snuggle base is going to take this. It's a little bit tough to say, though, because Veldos still has their commander. They still have their main base. This is actually... Veltas has a uh, pretty significant eco advantage, it looks like. Oh, no. Uh, well, no. It depends it's, on the reclaim. It's falling behind. It's falling way behind. And now that they've lost yeah. their gunship plant, they have no easy way there out of this. There we go. And all these rapiers can just tear apart every one of these metal extractors. And if you notice, the metal extractors are at one and a half times overdrive. So they're worth, like, all the plus 2.7s are actually worth plus 4. Getting mm. rid of three of those, and Veltas loses their advantage. Yep. Pretty clearly. So there's not much that Feltos can really do besides well, he's, getting air, and they tried uh, that, and they're trying that again. I don't know. They're getting another cloaky. What? Yeah, yeah. I guess. They Wait, why is he building? I think uh, they expected yeah, their cloaky bot factory in the main base to die. It is close. It's 700 health. You're right. Absolutely. I don't disagree. It's just it turned out they didn't need to. The rapier's going down. Only one rapier left. <laughs> getting one last shot out of spite on the defender, but not enough. Still, though, Snuggle Base has so many rapiers. The five coming in now, and more in... Well, actually, no, no more in production. Just the five. But with warriors on top of that for crowd control. And Feldhaus running their glaives away from the rapiers. In I don't agree with that. There are more than enough glaives. They can take care of the rapiers. No problem. Can the glaives still hit the rapiers? I have a hard time hitting brawlers now with glaves, since I, I guess the... They should the be able to. They're not changed. that high. Yeah, I, I think they are. It looks like they're low enough to be able to hit them. It's just I honestly haven't tried it in a while. Yeah, brawlers are because the thing with brawlers is that they were changed to be further away. Like they have longer range, but they're lower damage or something like that. Oh, no, sorry, they're changed to be nearer, but I think higher or something like that. I can't remember the exact change. Mm -hmm. But brawlers are just they just fire from further away than rapiers. That's the thing. Sure. All right. Well, some trains coming up now, which is a good answer to the rapiers, of course. Um, in fact, Beltas, uh Wow, he turned out three of these pretty quickly. I think that's enough to uh, to defend against the rapiers. What do you think? Oh, yeah, totally. The only problem that might come up would be if gremlins are made, and it doesn't look like Snuggle Base is going to have to worry. No, oh, Snuggle Base is not building that. They're building sharpshooters in Zeus. Hmm. They have a ton of warriors, but that's basically just as an assault force. Yeah, they it's going to be, take out, like... They want to take out right. the commander. They want to take out the second Loki bot factory. Yep, charging into this fire base here. <laughs> No, I guess it all comes down to uh, fail Toss's defender spam now. That's really all he can do to defend this. Oh, he has some scythes up. Yes, but those scythes will go down as soon as they're spotted. They'll get yeah, one right. warrior, maybe. But at this mm, point, it's still position. even. I can't call it. Like I well, thought Snuggle Base had a chance when they took out the main base, but then they didn't quite follow through. One interesting thing, it didn't seem to me like fail Toss actually did lose his uh, economic lead. Really, this no, entire time. No, they did. No, they would have... Had Snuggle Base taken out a couple more metal extractors, then it would have flipped. Yeah. But it yeah. never happened.
But and now Feltas is uh really well on his way to rebuilding his base. Once he gets some constructors in there, he'll have even more reclaim available to him. There's 1.6k. You know, it's essentially all his. He's already at 66 metal per second. So I, yeah, I, there's definitely a good chance for a comeback. In fact, I'd say I favor Feltas's position here because, um, like Drone mentioned in the uh, spectator chat, he uh, Snuggle Base really did need to eco behind this, um, behind the assault just to get back on equal footing as we're seeing now. Yeah, and this is going to be a real threat. I, yeah, wow, because well, now with the economy advantage, without having the rapiers going around one-shotting everything, and there are a few, but those tridents are forcing Felthos to be, or sorry, forcing Snuggleways to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Felthos basically has air control. They have sort of got ground control, especially thanks to the size. That helps. Felthos is actually building his own rapiers now. Mm-hmm. That's true, yeah. Which, they're almost on... I think they have more Reapers than Snuggle Base now. Hmm. Or just about the same number, but they have Tridents on top uh -oh. of that. So, and down here to the south, Snuggle Base's commander is um, in a pretty precarious position, and quite a few Reapers coming in here. Oh, it looks like they... Not gonna notice. They won't fight him. Oh, Fail boy. Toss doesn't know. That's, That's good, no because uh, if Fail Toss had gone down to raid out these Metal Extractors, he would have spotted him out just a moment ago. Yeah. I don't know, still, Snuggle Base is being surrounded here. It's uh, definitely a hairy position for him. Well, I think this is probably going to really put Snuggle Base into a bad spot if they weren't already. I think because they're already behind economically and militarily. It's just they don't. They need to kill about two or three armies before they're on par. As well yeah. as dealing some economic damage, and they realize and, that's uh, not going to happen. So Snuggle Base throws in the towel after a pretty good showing. And those rapiers, had they hit all the metal extractors, I think this would have been a completely different game. I think Snuggle yeah. Base would have won and gone on to the well pre-finals against Steel Blue. But instead, we have Failthos moving on in the tournament. They're going to be up against Steel Blue, and that is going to be, I think, on. I can't remember which map it was. It is going to be on a map that was pointed out a little while ago. Altair Crossing, so the other one that Google Frog wanted. Ah. All right. That's cool. Oops. So yeah, I'm... Interesting to see how this works out. I mean, the Felda Snuggle Base match was really even. You look at their LOs as well. I think a large part of it was that Hide and Seek is Feltos's map. Mm -hmm. I think that probably decided what was the result of that particular match. Yeah. So now Steel Blue and Feltos on Altier Crossing. This would be fairly quick. All right. So we get fourth and fifth place matches. Interesting. Hmm. Well, one of the fifth place matches. We don't get to see Steel Blue and Exploit. 